the power of self-denial, that of self-emptying in the service and obedience to God's will. Since that is the only path that will lead to glory. In the context of the mystery of God, man, God, man, becoming a servant and saved, of laying down his life for us. We think, especially today, of our dear priests who are chosen and anointed to act in the person of Christ. So, my dear friend, remember the priests who are anointed to act in the person of Christ. Jesus instituted the Holy Eucharist and Christ simultaneously. And the same at the same occasion, he washed the feet of his disciples. So my dear priests, I would like to remind you today of your identity as priests who represent Christ and his church in this world. Of course, I acknowledge your immense gratitude, uh, immense gratitude the service you render to the Christian community. The vocation to priesthood is a supreme and precious vocation. Without you, dear priests, there won't be the right preaching of the word and the sacraments, especially of the Holy Eucharist. Without you, there won't be forgiveness of sins and the putting Saint John may be a man, and I put, he said, without the priest, the passion and death of our Lord would be of no avail. It is the priest who continues the work of redemption here on earth. He asked what use would be a house filled with gold where there, where there are no one to open it is door. The priest holds the key of, to the treasures of heaven. It is he who opens the door. He is a minister to the Lord, the administ administrator, administrator, not of the diocese, but the administrator of the goods of the Lord. And he says, leave a parish for 20 years without a priest, and people will end, will end by worshiping beasts. The priest is not a priest for himself, he is a priest for the people. So, my dear people, Christians, even if a parish, one year without a priest, or of all of you will go. We will go to look at other places where we will be So, we must value your priest before you can. So, um, so dear brothers, my prayer and wish is that you may always find joy in your priest. You shall find joy when you are united with Jesus in faith and love, like the vine and the branches. You shall find joy in your priesthood when you allow Jesus to act in you and through you. He has consecrated you and sent you to bear fruit. You will lose the joy 
of priesthood. Only when you are not faithful to your vocation, like Judas, who was not faithful to his exalted vocation to be an apostle. You know what happened to Judas? Judas was overcome with a vision, love for money, and other vices. And so he ended up selling the Lord Jesus for that piece of silver. And moving away from the Lord, he became very lonely without Jesus. We become very lonely. And we can only overcome that loneliness when we are close to the Lord. As you know, it was a good but, uh, priesthood is a lonely life. Don't want to tell the people now what we are saying because it's a lonely life. <laughs> priesthood is a lonely life. And we can only overcome that loneliness when we are close to Jesus Christ. Judas, Judas' life ended in tragedy. A warning to us priests that our life too can end up in tragedy if we, if we let this ambition, love money, decide in our souls. Your ministry is not easy. Your ministry is not easy. My dear people of God, the ministry is not easy. Because who doesn't want what we call the Father? The ministry of sisters is not easy. Who does not want to be called a mother? They have given up, they have given up, and therefore it is not easy. The devil will strike you many times. But Jesus has assured us, have no fear. I have overcome the world. I urge you, brothers, friends, be available to your Christians in your parishes and institutions. Be faithful to your prayer life and accept your sacraments, frequent sacrament of confession, often. Spend time in adoration. Commit yourself to live the seven promises of celibacy and obedience that you made on the day of your ordination. Otherwise, without that, then you become a lonely person. And you can be baptized one of the me. <laughs> so, from the gospel, Jesus sent his disciples two by two for the ministry. Before the ascension, it was to all of them that he committed the mission to go all over the world to preach and baptize and make disciples. The church tells us that no priest can on his own accomplish his mission in a satisfactory way. He can do so only by joining forces with other priests under the direction of church's authority. Priests by virtue of the ordination to the priesthood are united among themselves in an intimate sacramental brotherhood. And that's why during ordination all the priests are invited to lay their hands on the priest, welcoming that priest in the group that we must work together. Even though priests are assigned in different duties, nevertheless, they carry on one priestly ministry of men 
And hence, I urge you again, my brother and sisters, in priesthood to work together as brothers in the ministry, despite your differences. Let us work together. Let us be our brothers to work. And this is a vital witness at a time when the evil one tries to bring all sorts of conflicts and divisions in our families, in our communities, in our country. And this, this is not only for the priest, but even for uh, our religious uh, men and women. Let us work together as a team because this is the will of Jesus. Let us be here, let us hear. Be a light of unity and love to a fragmented world. We become a sign. But when we separate, we don't work together. We destroy the very gospel that we preach. It is in as much as this will be called to the very special title, Sons of the Father May may universities to love her with added piety, in folk with perfect confidence and frequently brought her strong protection. Our lady very powerful. She was a calling in Jesus. In the history of the church, nobody has omitted or devoted himself herself to our lady and has lost him. So I would like to try and I would like to trust you, dear priest. To our, to our blessed Father May, Mother of the priests. Let us go to her when we have issues. And she journeyed with us as she journeyed with her son, Jesus Christ. God is good. And all the time. Uh, 
hoy día les dan las notas. For your priests, that the Lord may pour out his gifts abundantly upon them. And keep them faithful as ministers of Christ, the high priest, so that they may lead you to him, who is the source of salvation. And pray also for me, that I may be faithful the apostolic office entrusted to me in my own, so that and that in your midst I may be made day by day a living and more perfect image of God, the priest, the good shepherd, the teacher, and the servant of God. May the Lord keep us all in his charity and lead us all and lead our, all of us, shepherds and folk, to the eternal life. Amen. Let's take our seats.
must play what we what is for the and increase in us in us grace of salvation in the of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. 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 Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. To realize and just our duty and our selfish. Always and want to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal Lord. For by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, we may be your only begotten Son, I priest of the new and eternal covenant. And by your wondrous descent, we are pleased to, to be claim that in this world, this world should continue in the church. For Christ, not only arose with the royal priesthood, the people he has made his own, but with the brothers, he also chose men to become sharers in the sacred ministry through the lady of our hands. They are, with you in his name, the sacrifice of human redemption. To set before your children the Paschal banquet, to lead your holy people in charity, to nourish them with the world, and strengthen them with the suffering. And they give up their lives for you and for the salvation of your brothers and sisters. They strive to be more conformed to the image of Christ Himself and offer you a constant witness of faith and love. And so, Lord, in the aid of all the angels and saints, we do give you that as an exhortation to be acclaimed. Oh, Lord. 
summer is for the resurrection of the session And as we move forward, this is the second time. We hope for you to not see the physical and the physical practice. Look, we pray our own mutual change. And for that one, I think this is the last of this. But it is said, we will do this very much as well. We are going to do this one now. For the body and the blood of your son. And for this cause of the city. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, our blessed spouse, and with your blessed apostles and glorious mothers, with all the saints, for whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for faith in hell. May he sacrifice for our reconciliation. We pray, O Lord, grant the peace and salvation of all the world. Please confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim charge now with your servant Francis our Pope, David Kamau, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained before your Lord. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O oh merciful Father, that out to yourself all your children scattered through the world, to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you as they are passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom, there we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory.
wekami kumukwasebi ya Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, the apostles, please I if you might be saved. You love from our sin, but on the faith of your church, and bless your God, peace, and your glory, and your glory, and live and live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. Amen. Let us offer each other the side of peace.
let us now remain in silence and reflect upon the mysteries that we have just received.
God maker, source of all strength in holiness, accept the joy thanks and praise we offer in the name of your church. In the beginning, it was command, the earth produced fruit bearing trees, and the fruit of the olive tree. You have provided us with oil for holy cleansing. The prophet did the sound of the life and joy that the oil would bring us in the sacraments of your life. After the amazing of that, the doors returning to God, the knowledge branch, and now sing your gifts of peace. This was a sign of a greater gift to come. Now the waters of baptism wash away the sins of men. And by the anointing with the olive oil, you make us lead it with your joy. At your command, Aaron was washed through the water, and your servant Moses, his brother, anointed him priest. This too foreshadowed the greater thing to come. Of your son Jesus Christ our Lord, as John the Baptist. In the waters of Jordan, who sent the Spirit upon him in the form of a dove. And by the witness of their own friends, we declared him to be your only well begotten son. In this you clearly fulfilled the promise of David that Christ will be anointed with the oil of gladness behold his fellow man. Right hand. Right hand. And so, Father, we ask you to bless this oil you have created, fill it with the power of your Holy Spirit, through Christ your Son. It is from him that Christian takes its name, and with the Christian you have anointed yourself, yourself, priest, for yourself, priest and kings, prophets and martyrs. Make this Christmas sign of life and salvation for those who are to be born again in the waters of baptism. Wash away the evil they have inherited from the from sinful Adam. And when they are anointed with this all the holy oil, make them temples of your glory, ready it with the goodness of life that has sourced in you through this sign of prison. Grant them loyal mystery and prophetic honor, and clothe them with corruption. Let this be indeed the increasing of salvation for those who will be born again in water and the Holy Spirit. May they come to share eternal life in the glory of the Son. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
So we continue to be able to present the students again to wish all the peace. Uh, happy feast day. And please remember what Father Cecil told you. We shall have a seven now, but I can't believe that you have the budget for coming in. Thanks, <laughs> Alan. And also appreciate the, the leaders, brothers, and sisters who have joined us today. Let us appreciate them. Thank you. Cathedral priests for all this organization, the oils, uh, the sisters working here at the catechist and the lady. We sit on the car. Finally, change uh, of us. You know what you are supposed to do, you do it. 
and you do it well. I know what I'm supposed to do, and I do it well. Why is that? You just to find a case. You know, that's a point where you know I will start calling you. I come to your parish and ask what 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 is how is this happening there. So it is not optional. Let us go and act if we have to run the the diocese. So change your change your administration does not change that. Yeah? So otherwise. Please I wish you a happy feast day. And uh, I think we we'll say on Monday we are we are meeting my last day. Eh? So you come and then you have more first talk, eh? And I'm not sure that religious men and women are doing well for that and for supporting, especially today. Supposing that we supposed to are not there and they are here alone. You know, it's not a good message. But I want to assure you, when your time comes, you shall also be there. You shall also be there to support you. Yeah? Otherwise, thank you very much. Let us work together to be the faith that was left to us by our sisters in the faith. So, Christians, also, thank you very much. I always thank you for the sacrifice to make to make these fellows live their life. Eh? You know, those people sometimes die of hunger, when they say of hunger. But I've never had a priest or a sister who have died because of hunger. And it's you who provide. So thank you very much. And you feel appreciated. Thank you very much.